Hi, welcome to Online Storytime from the Broomfield Library. My name is Rachel. I'm one of the children's librarians. Let's get started with our story time with our Open Them, Shut Them song. Ready? Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give your hands a clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Great job. All right, we're going to start with a fun little rhyme. This is a great lap sit rhyme. So if you can get your kiddo on your lap, this is a really fun one. Here we go. We're going to do some bouncing. A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on a city bus. And everyone said, you're squeezing us. <laughs> All right, next words. Here we go. A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus. And my, oh my, did that co cause quite a fuss. And everybody said, move over. Good job. All right, last verse. Here we go. A sheep, a sheep. A sheep got on the bus, and my, oh my, did that cause quite a fuss, and everybody said, back up. <laughs> this is not a fun one. All right, let's do a fun story now. This one is called The Construction Crew. This is written by Lynn Meltzer. It's illustrated by Carrie Echo Burgess, and it's copyright 2011, and we're reading it with permission from Macmillan. This is the construction crew. This old building's ready to fall. What do we need? Wrecking ball. Dig now. Build later. What do we need? Excavator! Piles of earth. Push them over. What do we need? Anybody know what kind of vehicle that is? It's a bulldozer! Move that boulder. Away we go. What do we need? A Backhoe. Tons of dirt and lots of muck. What do we need? What kind of vehicle is that? It's a dump truck. Pour the foundation. That'll fix her. What do we need? A cement mixer. Pound that nail and drive that screw. What do we need? A construction crew. Making holes sure takes skill. What do we need? A power drill. The roof is high. Let's get there quicker. What do we need? A cherry picker. We'll use our hands if all else fails. What do we need? Hammer and nails. Make it flat, says the boy in the stroller. What do we need? A steamroller. Time to paint. Watch the spatter. What do we need? What's helping him get up high? An extension ladder. New home. Good luck. What do we need? A moving truck. New friends swapping favors. What do we need? Cheerful neighbors. On the wall, let's hang a poem. 
What does it say? What's on their sign? Home sweet home. The end. Isn't that a fun construction story? You noticed I pointed to a lot of words in the story, those big words that are fun that your child may know. Uh, and also on the sign in their home, pointing out words on signs and in books helps your child recognize that those words have meaning and helps them start to learn how to read. It builds those great early literacy skills. All right, we're gonna do a fun little rhyme. Now this one's great for toddlers and preschoolers. This is called Jenny's Hammer. Here we go, Are you ready? Jenny works with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Jenny works with one hammer, now she works with two. You hold up both hands, these are both your hammers. Here we go. Jenny works with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Jenny works with two hammers, now she works with three. Can you use both hands and one of your feet? Can you stomp a foot at the same time? It's tricky. You ready? Here we go. Jenny works with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Jenny works with three hammers. Now she works with four. Oh my goodness. Can you do both hands and both feet? Ready? Here we go. Jenny works with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Jenny works with four hammers. Now she works with five. What do you think the fifth hammer is? So we're going to do both hands, both feet, and our head. Are you ready? Jenny works with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Jenny works with five hammers. And now, oh, she goes to sleep. Good job. <laughs> that one wears me out. It's a fun one. All right, let's end with a bicycle song. So... You can roll your hands. We're gonna do this a couple different ways. So for the older kiddos, we're gonna roll our hands or you can stand up and you can walk and run in place. You ready? I like to ride my bicycle. I ride it to the top. And when I see a big red light, I know it's time to stop. Good job, here we go. I like to ride my bicycle, I ride it to and fro, and when I see a big green light, I know it's time to go. Faster, faster. Good job. So this is another one. Now that you bigger kids know how to do it, you can do it the same way. But I'm going to show how you can also do that same one with a baby. You can kind of pedal your baby's legs. This is a fun one to do while your baby's laying down on the diaper changing table or something too. You ready? Here we go. I like to ride my bicycle, I ride it to the top. And when I see a big red light, I know it's time to stop. You can also do this with their hands. I like to ride my bicycle, I ride it to and fro. And when I see a green, big green light, I know it's time to go. Great job. All right, let's say our thank you rhyme. My hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. My feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. Blow a kiss. Just like this. Thanks so much for tuning in to Online Storytime from the Broomfield Library. Take care. We hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.